in Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 8. The Bible says, He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and whosoever breaketh an edge, a serpent shall bite him. For whosoever shall break an edge, a serpent shall bite him. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, every secret thing I need to know be revealed to me in the name of Jesus. Every secret thing that I need to know be revealed to me in the name of Jesus. Every secret thing I need to know be revealed to me. Be revealed to me. Every secret thing I need to know concerning someone, concerning my life, concerning my problem, be revealed to me. Be revealed to me in Jesus' name. Hello, viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV show dedicated to interpreting your dreams with warfare prayers. I am Joshua Oreke. We are looking on a topic. This could be the source of your nightmares. This could be the source of your nightmares. Our dreams are our spiritual monitor, our spiritual television. In that same dream, we are made to monitor, we are made to see activities, to see images, to see symbols, to see character, to see inanimate things and other things like that. In a dream, there are good dreams. In a dream, there are bad dreams. In a dream, there are witchcraft dreams. There are demonic dreams. In that same dream, the enemy will come to come and fight you, to come and attack you. Many people are daily attacked through their dreams. Some are paralyzed in their dreams. Some destinies, some blessings, their miracles have been stolen in the dream. Their talent, their keys to destiny have been stolen. Their progress, their joy have been stolen in the dream. Some people have been praying, praying, Oh Lord, show me the source of my battle. Show me the source of my problems. Show me the source of my challenges. Show me the people that are behind my problems. There are dreams and there are dreams. And there are dreams that indicate the source of your problems. There are dreams that tells you what you need to do as a child of God to fight and to destroy their problems. Dreams is just like what God has set aside for the children of God to see. A dream is just like a spirit realm. In that spirit realm, there are many activities. Devil is there. Angels are there. Good spirits are there. Bad spirits are there. The Bible says, while men slept, the enemy came and plant evil dreams in their sleep. And when such a person will wake up, that person will wake up with problems. I pray for you today. Every bad dream that is bringing problems into your life, I command that bad dreams to expire in Jesus' name. Number one source of your nightmares is your faulty foundation. Your faulty foundation. The Bible says if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Your foundation is the origin of your life. Your foundation is the genesis of your life. Your foundation carries your identity. Your foundation carries your destiny. Your foundation knows who you will become. Your foundation is just like your powerhouse. And once that foundation is destroyed, what happened? The enemy will come and begin to attack you. So when you are operating on a faulty foundation, that will expose you or make you vulnerable to having nightmares, to having bad dreams. Why? Because your foundation is destroyed. Why? Because your foundation is under attack. Why? Because your foundation is manipulated. Why? Because your foundation has been porous. And that's the reason why you keep having nightmares. And all those nightmares you will have, most of them will come to pass. Why? Because satanic agents are attacking you from the source of your destiny. It has open ways for the nightmares to prosper, to prevail in your life. So the best way to stop that bad dreams in your life is to pray on the healing of your foundation. Pray for God to repair the damage caused by the enemy in your foundation. 
you must rearrange everything that has been scattered in your foundation. If there's no peace among your family or among your parents, if there's no peace among them, it will affect you as a child of God. Your foundation is the source of your life. Your foundation, it is where you are growing up from. And when that foundation is attacked, it will open doors for nightmares. You'll be having all kinds of series of dreams as if you are created to have bad dreams. So you need to deal with your foundation today. Number two, the house that you are living. The house that you are living could be the source of nightmare in your life. The house, that house with demonic foundation. It could open. It could make you vulnerable to nightmares. There are some people, the moment they enter a particular house, or a particular room. They are not living there, but they came there for a visit. But the moment they leave that house, the following night, they'll keep having bad dreams. Why? Because there are some evil agents, there are some evil spirits locking around that room, locking around that environment or that house. And similarly, the type of your house you live can determine if you are going to progress or if you are going to remain stagnant in that particular place. So the house you are living, if it is a bad house, it will make you to be having bad dreams. Why? Because there are every presence of witchcraft in that house. So if you must overcome that bad dreams in your life, the best way is either to pack away from that house or continue to pray against every witchcraft environment. You begin to pray against every power attacking people in your habitation attacking people in your environment. That could be one of the areas where you can prevail over that bad dreams, the persistence of that bad dreams in your life. I pray for you. Every evil house swallowing your destiny, swallowing your blessings, I command that evil house to vomit them in Jesus' name. Number three, parental causes. Parental causes can be the gateway in which the enemy is attacking you. It could be the gateway in which the evil dreams is bombarding you. Parental causes could be the areas in which you keep having bad dreams. You keep having nightmares. Your father or your mother curse you. Lay a curse upon you. Lay a curse upon your life and destiny. And those things could break the edge of God's protection upon your life. Why? Because your parents are our heavenly parents. And once your parents are cursing you, means that uh, the blessings of God in that person's life, if care is not taken, it may be under attack. What you need to do, you need to settle your dispute with your parents, with your mother, with your father. Ah, evangelist, I don't want to talk with my mother again. I don't want to talk with my father again. They are witchcraft. They are wicked. So the curses which your parents are laying on your life and destiny could create way for demonic dreams to come and attack you. So you must find a way to create that cordial relationship with your parents. Number four, evil dedication from birth. Evil dedication from birth. You were dedicated to the water. You were dedicated to idols, to altars, to waters. You were dedicated to the tree. Somebody in the family could take away your planceta. The place you are dedicated to will affect the quality of your dream. It will affect the quality of your life. If your mother dedicated you to something, that power will be the reasons that you are having bad dreams today. The evil dedication from birth could be the source of your nightmares. You need to deal with it with foundational deliverance or go for deliverance ministration. Number five, the name your BS. The name your BS can be the source of nightmares or bad dreams in your life. If you are bearing names that has to do with the gods, if you are bearing names that has to do with altars, if you are bearing names that has to do with negativity, it will affect you. It will affect your destiny. And that could be the cause, and that could be the source of the nightmare you have been having without you knowing. Until you change that name, you keep experiencing dream battle. Sometimes you may have a Christian name and that Christian name may have been converted in the realm of the spirit. Sometimes changing of name can bring deliverance for you. 
So the type of name you bear can be the reason why you are having nightmares in your life. Number six, the covenant you made with your partner. The covenant you made with your partner, blood covenant. You made blood covenant with a man. You made blood covenant with a man recently and it's affecting you. Despite the fact that you have been delivered, that portion, that consequences, that bond will still be there. And that could be the loopholes in which the enemy is bringing bad dreams to you, bombarding you with nightmares. You have to break again the evil covenant. Break it again. It does not matter how long you have made or you established that covenant with your partner. You have to break that blood covenant. Go for deliverance again. Go for rededication again and break that covenant with the blood of Jesus Christ. And once you can do it, you stop having those nightmares. Sometimes people will be saying, I have gone for deliverance, I have gone for deliverance. If you have gone for deliverance, the reason why you are going for deliverance, after your deliverance, that problem should be stopped. But the moment you are still having that problems or dreams, it means that in that deliverance, has not yet been effected. You have to keep on going for deliverance. Deliverance means to rescue, you know, to set yourself free from that problem, from that nightmares. So if you keep having bad dreams after your deliverance, you have to keep on going to that deliverance until you see the end of that affliction or dreams in your life. I pray, may the Lord give you victory in Jesus' name. Number seven, being abandoned by your parents. You are abandoned by your parents. Your parents did not love you. Your parents hate you. Your parents have rejected you. There's no love. There's no connection between you and your parents. And that will affect you as a child. Because there's no covering from your parents upon your life. And that will expose you to danger. And that will allow the enemy to attack you. That will allow this devil, this spirit, you know, to be bombarding you with, with nightmares with bad dreams. Why? Because there's no parental covering upon your life. Your parents are not praying for you. They're not praying for you. So that could be the reasons or the causes of nightmares in your life. Why? Because you have been abandoned or disowned by your parents. You have to find ways to reestablish that connection with your parents. No matter what they have done for you or the wickedness or something, try to reconnect back spiritually or even physically. May the Lord give you wisdom in Jesus' name. Number eight, the type of prophet that pray for you can affect the quality of your dream. First prophet, praying for you, prophesying for you, laying their hands upon your life. If care is not taken, you'll be having nightmares, a bad dream. Why? Because the first prophet, which happens to be an unclean person, will be bombarding you with problems because the powers behind that first prophet is the power from the marine. And once that power is being projected into your life, the consequences of that actions, the consequences of that demonstration of power is you'll be having those things in your dream, those nightmares. Why? Because a false prophet delivered you. Why? Because a false prophet prayed for you. Why? Because a false prophet was showing care for you. You know, that could be the reasons why you have been having repeated nightmares. So if the Spirit of the Lord has been telling you concerning a prophet that you should stop going or meeting a prophet, stay away. That could be your deliverance. Number nine causes of nightmares or bad dreams in your life is the enemy that you have. The enemy that you have. The friends. The people that doesn't like you. That does not have good things about you. That does not project you in a good light. The ones that try to betray you. The ones that try to hurt you. The one that tried to harm you, your enemy, could be the source of that nightmares in your life. The one that goes to the native doctor to report your case. The one that is calling your name for evil. The one that is using mind prayers against you. The one that has evil intention against you. The enemy around you. Those you call your friends, those you call your good friends are the one, you know, planting evil against you. That could be the source of the nightmares you have been having, the bad dreams you have been having. Until you change some circle, until you change some friends, you keep having these nightmares. Once you can change some of the friends that you think that they are posing as a threat or danger to you, that will be the first step to your deliverance. I pray, may the Lord deliver you and take you away from every bad association in Jesus' name. Number 10, the bad thing you did in the past can be a gateway or the door in which the enemy 
or the bad dream is penetrating into your life, the bad thing you did in the past, yes, you might have prayed and fasted, but sometimes our prayer is not enough. One prayer is not enough. One fasting is not enough. But your consistency and persistence in that prayer will give you victory over the power of the enemy in your life. The bad thing you did in the past can open doors for the enemy to keep attacking you in the dream, in the realm of the spirit. You know, planting evil against somebody, committing abortion, for example, killing somebody, doing wicked things in the past, but now you have been repented, God has saved your life. But there is this kind of connection between you and your past that want to drag you back again. So look at, that could be the areas in which the nightmare is coming from. The bad things you have done, the spirit are the one coming to project in your dreams. You need to silence the power of the past in your life. And the Lord will give you victory in Jesus' name. Number 11, the person that you marry can open doors for nightmares in your life. Demonic dreams. Getting married to the wrong person. You'll be having bad dreams. Having battle dreams. Polluted dreams. Defilement dreams. Contaminated dreams. Distorted dreams. Manipulated dreams. Why? Because of the person you marry from. The family you marry from. If you marry a man that comes from a bad foundation, it will affect you. The bad spirit of that man will affect you in the dream, especially, and even in the physical realm. It will affect you. The type of person you marry can be the cause of nightmares in your life, can be the cause of battle dreams in your life. What do you do? You and your partner need to go for deliverance. Go for deliverance for God Almighty to cast out, for God Almighty to bring out that spirit that is causing issues between you and your spouse so that you can be set free. May the Lord Almighty set you free in Jesus' name. Number 12, your stubbornness can be the cause or the source of your nightmare. The stubbornness, anger, unforgiveness can be the gateway. You don't have that gentleness, stubbornness, anger, unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment can give the enemy the chance to penetrate, to attack you in a dream. You need to deal with your weaknesses today. Lastly, number 13 is cause. Cause. When you are under a cause, you'll be having dreams. Dreams. Bad dreams. Dreams that are related to stagnancy, that are related to backwardness, that are related to retrogression, that are related to obstacles, that are related to poverty. It's as a result of cause heaping on your head. That is to tell you that you are battling with a cause. You need to break that cause. And the moment you break that curse, that could be the end of that battle dreams in your life. I pray by the special grace of God, the source of that nightmare in your life, I curse that source. I command that source to dry up. I command that source to expire in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Say prayer upon number one loud and clear. Say every source of bad dream in my life, die in the name of Jesus. Every source of bad dream in my life, die in the name of Jesus. Every source of bad dream in my life, die in Jesus' name. Every covenant established with the devil, I break it in the name of Jesus. Every covenant established with the devil, I break it in the name of Jesus. Every covenant established with the devil, I break it. I break it. I break it in Jesus' name. Say, blood of Jesus, arise, deliver me from manipulated dreams. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, arise and deliver me from manipulated dreams. Deliver me from manipulated dreams. Deliver me from manipulated dreams. Blood of Jesus, arise and deliver me from manipulated dreams in Jesus' name. Tell this last prayer upon loud and clear. Say, I shake off every arrow of bad dreams in my life. In the name of Jesus, I shake off every arrow of bad dreams in my life. I shake them off. Every arrow of bad dreams in my life, I shake them off. 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 In Jesus' name, the victory is yours. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you.